All right, here we go. Looks like the recording is going to work this time. Anyway, so 14 into um, 420. Well, all we're looking at here is really um, how many, for the first part, does 14 go into 42? And um, sometimes you're just going to have to do a little bit of work and start adding things together. So 14 um, plus 14, okay, that's going to be... Uh, um, 28 right there um, so that's not big enough so if I added another 14 that's going to be uh, 8 plus 4 is 12 put down the 2 carry the 1 that's going to be 42 wow perfect so how many times does 14 go into 42 looks like 1 2 3 times so I'm going to put a 3 right there I'm going to put a 42 I'm going to subtract and that's a 0 and then I bring down the other zero and I ask, does 14 go into zero? It does not. So the answer would be 30. Okay. So uh, Mr. Button, that really didn't address one of the problems you said you have in doing these. Let's see if the second one is, is like that at all. Looks like it, it probably will be. So um, let me set this up. Number two, it's 385, and it's being divided by 11. So I want to figure out, first off, well, 11 doesn't go into 3, so it's got to go into 38. How many times does 11 go into 38? Well, you guys should know your 11s by now, at least the single digits. 11 times 11 is 1. 11 times 2 is 22. 11 times 3 is 33. 11 times 4 is 44. That's obviously too big, so it's going to be 33. And then you just simply subtract it, Mr. Button. And if you can't see where you are, feel free to move. So this is a question you guys asked me yesterday. If you can get close, go ahead and do so, and then subtract. So 33 from 38, there's 5 left over. All right, but we're not done now. Now you have to bring down the next number, which is a 5. So then we ask, whoops, I forgot to put in the 3 right there. How many times does 11 go into 55? It goes in, yeah, I heard you guys say it, 5 times evenly, nothing left over. And so you could always check your work. You guys remember that if you multiply these two together, you will get what's in here. 11 times 35 is 385. Okay. Ms. Noble, is this helping at all? Uh, like a quarter. Like a quarter, okay. <laughs> well, I'll do another one here. All right, I'm looking at number three. It's 744. Okay, divided by 24. Now I have to figure out how many times, because 24 won't go into 7, but it will go into 74. So 24 plus 24 is 48. That's pretty easy. That's still a ways from 74. So let me add another 24, and let's see what happens here. 4 plus uh, 8 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. That's 5, 6, 7. That's 72. So that's really close. So that'll work. It's going to go in three times. And again, Mr. Button, you were asking about this. Then we're going to put up the 72, and we're going to subtract. And you guys just subtract one from the other. So um, 2 from 4 is 2. 7 from 7 is 0. So I have 2 left over. But we're not done. You still need to account for the last number, which is 4. And there we go, it's 24. Nothing left over and it went in once. And so again, let me point out to you guys that if you multiplied 31 times 24, you would get 744. If you wanted to double check your work and see that you got it right. Questions on that, anybody? So um, let me do, actually, everybody do number four on your own 
right now. That's good. Everybody do number four on your own right now. And we'll check it and see how you guys did. Hang on. And I'll pull sticks. Anybody have it yet? I see two hands back there. All right, uh, Miss Ugisa, um, what was your answer? Twenty-five. Mister uh, Cosgrove, you had your hand up. What did you have? Twenty-three. Anybody have something different? Yeah, what'd you get? Twenty. Okay. Anybody else? Give you guys another minute. Yeah. 21. 21. Okay. Let's go with that, you guys. Let's see what happens here. So 27 plus 27. I want to figure out what that is. 7 and 7 is 14. Put down the 4, carry the 1. That's 4. That's 5. 54. You know what? If I add one more 27, I can tell it's going to be too big. Yeah. So that's going to be 6, 7, 8, 81. That's too big. So it's going to go in twice. So all of you had that part right. Nicely done. And so what is that? It's going to be 54. And I'm going to subtract. 4 from 7 is 3. 5 from 6 is 1. Okay. So now I need to pull down the 5. Oh man, now I gotta figure out how many times 27 goes into 135. Well, let me show you this. Think about this for a moment. I know that 27 twice is 54. So I could do, what's 54 plus 54? 108, that's gonna be four times. So what if I just added 27 to that? That would be, that's going to be five times whatever that answer is. Let's take a look. Seven and eight is 15. Put down the five, carry the one. That's three. There's 135 right there. Five times 135. See, I already did part of the work when I was doing this first part here. And then I just use that to make it easy. 54 plus 54 is 108. So there'll be opportunities for you guys to do those kinds of shortcuts. Okay, so who got, uh, one person got it right, it was 25. Who got that? Was that, Mr. Ogisa, was that you? 50 points. Okay, so there it is. Um, we've done, that was one, two, three, and four. So I'll give you guys a couple minutes if you haven't copied them all down yet. And um, I will check on Monday. Um, it'll be, let's see here, five, six, seven, eight, and nines might be a bit of a challenge for some of you. Now, here's what I'm going to do. This is important. When I call you on Monday, you're going to come up to the board and do it. You're not going to just give me an answer. So make sure you've written out the steps 
to do these. Okay? If you don't do it, that's fine. Your, your points will be lost. I don't care. It's up to you. If you're going to have that kind of attitude. So um, write all five of them down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and do the steps. And when you come up, you can take your piece of paper and do it right. Hold the piece of paper out and write it on the board. Okay? All right, does anybody not have five, six, seven, eight, and nine written down? Okay, I'll give you guys a couple more minutes. Hurry up, write them down. And I'm going to stop the recording here.